What's up now? All right, now this is 18 wheels with a, a video. This video is uh right here is on Ram McNally on how to like actually calibrate your Ram McNally so you can get the the best out of your your GPS. Cause I I had some uh body. I got a couple of guys you know they got uh Ram McNally's and they run them, but they are they tell me a lot of times well the Ram McNally had me going in this direction and that direction and kind of take them through roundabout ways so what i'm going to do actually in this video right here i am going to show you how to calibrate it to kind of help you with with your ram mcnally tnd let me see ram mcnally tnd tablet 1050 and um you can also use these settings for the other uh brands of ram mcnally trucker gps's okay here we go let me get into it first now my gps as of right now let me go back my gps as of right now is connected to my wi-fi so you have to have a hot spot in order to do this because you want to download the latest updates or whatever they have on ram mcnally so I'm showing you how to do that. And then I'm going to show you um, different ways to calibrate it. So Ram McNally don't actually work as like a, uh, it'll work as a car GPS. And you'll be wondering why, why is it taking me down this street? And um, I'm going to show you. So let me get straight to the point. First of all, have your GPS connected to your Wi-Fi so you can download the latest update. So you see me hit the gear up top. I'm gonna go back. That gear that has a red, red thing up there. It says system updater. You probably already know this, but I'm still gonna go through it because there's people that have this GPS that don't know it. So I'm gonna show you. You go to system update, check for updates. As you see what I'm doing right now. And um, while I was checking for updates, I'm going to go ahead and update, install it. This is Ram McNally Vehicle Link, updating Ram McNally Link app. So you want to do this right here. And you might have to do it multiple times depending um, how many updates you missed. You know, this GPS is a little bit different. It's not like um, um, Garmin's GPS. Garmin is like a on a totally different system. So... I'm gonna show you this. Once it gets done downloading the files, I'm going to show you the next thing that you need to do with this Ram McNally. So it's downloading. And um, if you have <clears throat> like a Ram McNally GPS, you um, need to go into your section to uh, be able to calibrate it correctly according to the type of truck you're driving. Now. Hold on, I'm going to let this go on and download and we'll pause the video. Go. So anyway, <clears throat> I thought the update was going to take a little longer. So you want to hit the back button at the bottom. All right, then this is the second step as exit. After you update your GPS, your second step is going to be hit the gear. <clears throat> you want to go to T1050 setup. You want to scroll down system updates you already did that all right we did that part all right so we go back into the gear t1050 setup then you want to go see it still has updates available but i'm gonna i'm gonna skip this i'm gonna do another hold on let me go to another one let's check for updates again <clears throat> let's see what it does okay we're up to date so we're good all right, so now go back into the gear, go to 1050 uh, right there. Then you want to scroll down to data repair. You have to data repair your GPS. It, like I said, doesn't work like it doesn't work like the uh, 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 any gar like Garmin products. Garmin GPS is different, but this one you have to do a data repair on it. Cause if you don't do a data repair there are files that can like get out of uh, sync and then have your gps doing things that you don't want it to do 
So we're gonna do the data repair. I'm gonna let it do, do that. See, mines have uh, 169 files. And it's uh, verifying. It's on file, file number 38 and it keeps going up. So you have to do this. Or, you know, if you don't do this, it, it, it can, the GPS, this GPS is like different. So you wanna learn, you wanna learn how to like keep keep doing the maintenance on it. So I'm gonna hit the back button, <clears throat> right? Now, right now where I'm at, I'm not moving. Um, I might not, let me see, don't show that again. Um, it might not connect actually to, oh yeah, it's connected to the satellite. Cause sometimes they don't connect if you're if you're like indoors. I'm indoors right now. Right now I'm uh, waiting for my uh, truck to uh, the finish for from uh, repairing my truck. Well, anyway, let me uh, go to the gear. You want to go to the gear at the bottom. You see where it says 815? You have settings. That's the gear. All right. You want to go to uh, map. No, not map route that's what you want to go to and you want to go scroll down route avoids you got to do this now you see this you could check small roads i haven't you could check small roads to keep your gps out for small roads uncheck that u-turns i always check u-turns because i don't I, I try not to do i, I really don't like doing u-turns in the semi truck and I checked dirt roads. Now, I had a a, a, a trucker. Uh, anyway, he showed me. Uh, he has a, a Ram McNally, and he showed me something that I didn't like actually notice. Mines was checked for tunnels. So, when I was on my way here to Grand Junction, Colorado, before my truck broke down, my GPS was taking me the long way around, but. He uh, uh, had me aware of this section right here to check that unchecked tunnels because sometimes it'll be checked and you might have something checked like freeways, uncheck that. You won't, you don't want to avoid freeways and toll roads, small roads. Uh, <clears throat> I'm, you might want to check that, you know, to uh, keep your semi truck on small roads. That's because um, sometimes the Rand McNally GPS I have you going on roads that are, um, you know, just really made for cars. So you want to check, you could check that. And if your Rand McNally is still not actually uh, going right, you know, go back and cal calibrate it. You have to kind of like figure out your calibration on what you're trying to do. So it won't, it won't uh, have you uh, going going to where routes that you don't want to go and you have a section right here permanent avoidance i never like set this up you know uh where i don't want to go you know with states not to go into because i'm crossing into all states and um you have your map right here like you want to go into this section you want to check and make sure truck info Go into your truck info and make sure you have everything weight right. Weight right, thirty-two thousand pounds. Mine's eight, eighty thousand total, and I got thirteen six with eight six trailer, uh, fifty-three foot trailer. Number of axles five. You want to check all your um actual things that you have in here. Now, if you got your GPS set for um like hazmat info it will take you around different ways that are like hazardous material routes so you, if that's what you have check for like explosives or gas flammable liquids you want to uncheck that and um that's what you want to do all right so this is it for this gps uh um little small um uh tutorial and um if you have a ram mcnally you know, don't don't throw it in the garbage. Keep it. You you spent money on that GPS. Just learn how to uh, calibrate and um, learn how to use your GPS. You know what I mean? Use it 
and um, you just learn everything you need to know about your GPS. Okay, now, what's up now? This, uh, all right, I just want to add a little something to this video. Um, I want to tell you, with these GPSs, you already know, be aware of the road signs. I mean, because they do, the GPSs do malfunction, and sometimes they're not totally updated to where as though you can go uh, through through a uh, uh, or on a road that that you're not actually really supposed to be on so you gotta like you know pay attention to road signs they even have it on the gps pay attention to road signs make sure because some of the stuff is not actually super accurate all right um one thing you need to do is um uh, here's another thing that i do i'm just giving you tips of what i do um i also check yeah, I use my phone. I check Google Maps, you know, to know the kind of like know ahead of time the satellite image. I check Google Maps satellite image on, you know, on how to get in and out of an area, you know. So, so I won't have a, a actually pro a actual problem, you know. Um, here's another thing. Um, I have a trucker app that you can download to your phone. You can also use this one. Um, this is the one I use, Trucker Path. Um, I don't use Trucker Path for navigation, which I have before, but I use my GPSs that I have. Uh, you know, my Trucker GPS is my Ram McNally and my uh, my Garmin GPS. But Trucker Path, you could use that. It's like, uh, you know, like once you use that one with your GPS, it's an actual nice tool to use because it has information on that gps that you need to know you know ahead of time um one, another thing i'm gonna stress to you about the ram mcnally uh always use the system updater and up, make sure you keep your gps updated through the way i showed you um and also use data repair data repair hit that data repair after you update your gps to make sure the files are, in, are are you know correctly lined up so to actually be able to uh, navigate you properly um and another thing um if the ram mcnally continue to uh take you around about ways just be aware of the gps you already know what it does um you actually um here's me I'll use my GPS to get me to a location. Now, if it's not actually the way I want to go, I'll still go the way that I want to go, you know. Um, and another thing that I do, sometimes I won't use my GPS until I'm like maybe an hour or two hours away from uh, my delivery location. You know, that way it could just guide me in to where I need to go because, you know, it does save time. And, you know, time is money. So, you know, those things, you know, just kind of like be aware of what you got. And, um, you know, and make sure you do your data repair and uh, update your, your GPS on a regular basis. And you can get the uh, most out of it. And also go into your your settings and calibrate that GPS according to the type of truck you're driving to. You know, height signs and everything. Because the GPS is going to actually go the way the developers wanted wanted to go according to how you calibrate it so you got to be aware of that all right this is me 18 wheels i'm gonna end this video to all you truckers uh out there like subscribe share my videos uh and um i'll keep making more videos to kind of like help you out with different things that you need for uh ram mcnally and um actual car hauling if you're a car hauler all right, to everybody, be blessed. Peace.